The robot uprising has officially arrived. And what I'm about to show you is something that somebody bought and assembled online for less than $5,000. Yes, this is real, and yes, it works. I'm gonna show you where this was purchased from and prove to you that this was done by somebody for under $5,000 in just a moment. I'll also tell you, unlike anybody else who has this today, who created this particular robot of war. But I've been screaming about this for a long time and sometimes people think I'm crazy because I'm screaming about robot uprising problems and issues with war and weaponized robots. But what we're looking at here is exactly that. I'm gonna tell you more about this in just a moment. Now watch it go uh, off-road a little bit, some different terrain, and watch it deal with the recoil. So yes, is it perfect? No. Does it have some recoil issues? Yes. But this is the real deal. And it all started with a photo that was posted on Facebook. This is the first shot that we got of this war robot. And it was from this Facebook post from an Alexander Atomov. Atomanov. That's probably closer. A dog named Skynet he posted back in March of this year. But now the video's out there. And it looks like this is the robot that Alexander used. You could buy it for about $3,000. It's similar to the spot robot that Boston Dynamics shows off dancing around all the time. But this is a hell of a lot cheaper on Alibaba's AliExpress. You can literally buy this online right now. Again, for around $3,000, you'll find this thing. And if you look at this, take a look at the, the robot there. And then let's take a shot from, let's say, back here you can start to see the similarities. Allow me to get out of the way here. See this, you see this, this is one and the same. This robot is the very same one. Let me get another shot of this. All right, here's another angle. And you can see the similarities here. So the robot itself that was used in this situation is about $3,000. As for the weaponry, it looks like it's a PP-1901. If I'm saying that right, good. If not, I apologize. It's a Russian weapon. And that's because the guy who made this lives, it appears, and, and created this in Russia. But the weapon, let's say a couple thousand dollars, and of course the robot, $3,000. For $5,000, you have now created this. A robot weapon of war. And what I want to know right now is what do you think of this? Are you scared yet? Are you on board yet with the fears of this robot uprising, with robots being weapons of war and with similar issues? I don't think it's crazy any longer. I think we're seeing what's actually happening, but I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comments. Facebook.com slash the news junkie. Hit that follow button. YouTube.com slash the news junkie. Hit subscribe. I appreciate all of you who do that and watch my videos each week. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you again real soon.